So you've got a patient with hypocalcemia or low calcium levels. How may they present to you? Lots of causes of hypocalcemia are of course things like post-thyroid surgery, post-parathyroid surgery, things like chronic renal failure. But how may they present to us either in the acute or the chronic stage? First, let's look at eyes, cataracts, you can get blurring of vision over time with low calcium levels. Convulsions can be a first presentation of a low calcium level. You may get tingling around the mouth, perioral paresthesia, that might be the first time they come and see you about that. You can get laryngeal spasm, which can lead to problems with breathing or things like stridor. Again, that could be a presentation. Tetany basically means a contraction of the muscles, and that can happen in a low calcium level. Depression can happen, low mood, particularly in the more chronic stage of hypocalcium. And there's a couple of key signs to remember. You've got Schwalztek sign, which is when you tap over the parotid area or the facial nerve area, you get twitching of facial muscles. And then you have Trousseau sign, which is when you get carpal spasm, the fingers or wrist go into spasm, particularly when you put a blood pressure cuff and you inflate it, you get that classic Trousseau sign. And alongside low calcium, you can get low vitamin D, so it can lead to things like rickets, of course, and things like osteomalacia in the bones as well. So normally, a low calcium level can affect nerves and muscles, but it can present in many different ways. There's a lot more teaching like this on our AKT webinars and audiobooks. I hope this helps. Hashtag can pass, will pass.